Hello everyone. You might have noticed that there are 32-bit and 64-bit software and hardware available. In most cases, you simply need to know if your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit to run a particular program. However, when deciding what software to install on your computer, it's beneficial to understand what the terms actually mean. It's pretty much clear that 32-bit sometimes named as x86 and 64-bit as x64. Alright, so when it comes to computers, the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit is all about processing power. Computers with 32-bit processors are older, slower and less secure, while on the other hand, 64-bit processors are newer, faster and more secure. But what do the numbers 32 and 64 even mean? Your computer's CPU works as the brain of your computer. It monitors all the communication and the flow of data to and from the other parts of your computer. Some computers use two or more processors. However, there are only two main categories of processors now, 32-bit processors and 64-bit processors. The type of processor that your computer uses affects its overall performance and what kind of software it can handle. 32-bit processors were the primary processors used in all computers until the early 1990s. Intel Pentium and early AMD processors were 32-bit, which means that operating system and software work with data units are 32 bits wide. Windows 95, 98 and XP are all 32-bit operating systems. A big difference between 32-bit processor and 64-bit processor is the maximum amount of RAM that is supported. 32-bit processor can handle a maximum of 2 to the 30 second power bytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM, but the actual limit is often less than around 3.5 gigabytes. While on the other hand, 64-bit processor can handle 2 to the 64th power bytes or more than 17 billion gigabytes or 1 million terabytes or 16 exabytes of RAM. In other words, 64-bit processors can process more data than 4 billion 32-bit processors combined. This is several million times more memory than an average computer would need to use. However, the practical limit of 64-bit CPUs as of 2018 is 8TB eight of addressable memory. Another major difference between 32-bit processors and 64-bit processor is the number of calculations per second they can perform, which affects the speed at which they can accomplish tasks. 64-bit processor come in dual core, quad core, 6 core and 8 core versions for home computing. Multiple cores allow for an increased number of calculations per second that can be performed which can increase the processing power and help to make a computer run faster. Software programs that require many calculations to work smoothly can run faster and more efficiently on the multi-core 64-bit processors. If you want your computer to be fast, you should probably choose 64-bit processor because it delivers better graphics performance. 64-bit computers may still get infected by malware, which includes viruses, spyware, trojans, and ransomware. However, a computer with 64-bit system has more security features than a 32-bit system. First fully 64-bit operating system was Mac operating system X Snow Leopard in 2009. Meanwhile, the first smartphone with a 64-bit chip 5s in 2014 couple of points to remember a computer with a 32-bit processor cannot have a 64-bit operating system installed it can only have a 32-bit operating system installed a computer with a 64-bit processor can have a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system installed however with a 32-bit operating system 64-bit processor would not run at its full capacity 
all right so this was all about today's video thanks for watching please subscribe